What's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, Iliway. And uh, first thing I want to uh, talk about right now is just uh, thanking everyone that subscribed to my YouTube channel and rated and commented on the channel. Uh, some good uh, feedback and some slightly, you know, well, I, I won't say negative, I'll just say con constructive criticism. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos, but it would be helpful for me if you guys would let me know what you guys are trying to, you know, figure out in reasons. And now this video is going to be dealing with recovering your missing sounds and reasons. Um, you know, when I first got reasons, I used to save my stuff, you know, all my stuff on the C drive. And then um, I started to download a bunch of sounds and everything. So that I was, you know, bulking down my C drive. So I said, well, let me get a, a hard drive, an external hard drive. I did that, transferred all my sounds to the F drive or G drive, whatever uh, letter is next. And um, when I called up a song, the sounds were missing. So it was just like, wow, how, how does this, what happened here, you know? So I figured out that if the path is broken from where you saved it originally, then uh, you won't be able to find your sounds that was associated with that song. This is mainly for people that have external hard drives. Maybe you have two or three different external hard drives, and maybe your, your software, the reason software is actually loaded onto your, your C drive, but all <clears throat> your sounds that you acquired over the years are is on another hard drive. And that is my my situation here. So I'm gonna find a song that I did some time ago, I haven't dealt with in maybe two or three years, and I'm gonna show you what happens when I load it up. It's gonna say you're missing all these sounds. I'm like, well, where are these sounds? The ideal is that you need to uh, you can go in manually as long as you know where you save those sounds at you can go in manually and you can recover your sounds or you can do a a, a search a, a, a overall search and it'll search the whole computer for you and even then sometimes it's kind of uh, the, the, the search engine has a problem locating those sounds so I'm going to attempt to try to show you some ways to recover those sounds and and if you run into an issue where you buy a new hard drive and you transfer your stuff to another hard drive and I'm going to show you how <clears throat> you can change the letter of the hard drive so say if you um, have a hard drive, an external hard drive and it's uh, F the letter is F. Um, and some reason that that uh, path got broken. Now the when you call up a, so a song, it's looking, it's trying to go to the F drive, but somehow that F drive got changed to a C or a D or whatever, you know. So what you got to do is go in and, and manually change the letter back to where, back to its original letter. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, YouTube family, we're going to get into this now. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is recovering missing sounds when you load up your, your songs and uh, reasons. So, I'm going to go here, call up something, and this particular, I'm, I'm getting this stuff from my old Reason 4 folder. stuff right here is my all my record stuff so what I've been doing lately is just trying to go through my reason stuff and once I do that I'll uh, put it into my record folder okay but we're gonna go into this old folder I think it was a um, was it rap and this is hip hop and I'm gonna and call this one up can't hold me down B Up. As you can see, what happens is uh, what 
this is is basically saying you're missing sound. And what you need to do is just hit cancel. And say, okay, you're missing more sound. Hit cancel again. Voila. It shows you all the sounds that you're missing. Right here. These are all the sounds that I'm missing. So now, I could go to locate sound and do a a search location and that's going to go ahead and do a whole search but that takes too long for me so what I'll do is hit cancel you guys can do that if you want to because in some cases you guys may not even remember where you save those sounds you know so but what I do because I know where I save my sounds I could uh, make my search uh, process a little faster. So what I'll do, go to search folder. And like I said before, um, is that you can have uh, your favorite sounds that you like to use a lot over in this box here, this location and favorites box right here. And what, how you do that is you, you actually can my G drive, that's where all my stuff is, all my folders and stuff like that, and I go over to my, this is where I have all my third party uh, refills and things at right here, the WAV file, and say I wanted to just drag this over, I can just drag this over right here and it's there, which I already have it here, okay, and, it, and then instead of me going over here to look for sounds, I go right here, because these are my favorite ones. But in this case, um, all right, I guess we, oh, okay, I'm going to show you something here. Now, the only disadvantage is when I'm looking for sound, and say I know that a lot of these sounds are in my piano and pad field. I click on that, right? Click on this. But what happens is, it doesn't, this OK button doesn't light up for me. OK, because I guess that path isn't, isn't recognized. So what I'm going to have to do, I mean, I can go in and I can manually look for the sounds right here. If I knew, you know, you can see them right here. And you can manually look for them over here. But if I don't want to do it, I want it to automatically do it for me. What I'll do is I go to my G drive, because that's where I have my stuff stored. You may have your stuff stored on the C drive, I don't know. But I'll go to my computer, go to the G drive, then go to Reasons Project, then go to my, all I gotta do is highlight on the piano and pad me here. And see, there you go. The OK button is highlighted. So now all I gotta do is hit OK and it's gonna manually search that, these missing sounds for me that are missing from that folder. I'm gonna stop this because the next sound that it wants to look for is actually a drum sound and that's in a different folder so hit cancel and as you can see all this stuff has been found located and located now I'll go back to search like I said I can go over here to drums but it doesn't highlight my okay button I can manually search it right here but I, you know I don't want to do that I want to show you guys another way of getting that so you go to my computer go back to wherever you have your sound stored at you have to know this and uh in my reason project then i my drum refills i hit okay i'm gonna search that and after this family i'm gonna show you how to change the letters on your hard drive your external hard drive because what happens sometimes is you rearrange or set up, you, you save stuff in a different folder, or you save, you want to back up stuff that's on one hard drive to another hard drive, and that breaks the path that you originally saved your reason songs in. And sometimes the letter changes. So uh, if you don't know how to change that letter, you will, have, you will end up having to 
starting a new project for those old songs. You know, be like, well, you load it up and you're like, man, this stuff is not loading up. And if you don't remember the sounds you had or where they located, then that song kind of is kind of lost for you unless you go back in and just change the sound. But a lot of times you, you created something with a vibe and you want to use those same sounds. So I'm going to go through a couple of uh, scenarios and show you how certain things could do that. I'm going to show you. I can do this manually because I know what these sounds are. I'll go down to my drums. Right here. Then I go down to what these sounds are. So we load that up, family. That's how you would do that. And this is a old song I did, I don't know, a couple years ago maybe. Let me see what it sounds like. going to get into uh, some technical stuff regarding hard drive and C letters and stuff like that. So, say you have uh, an external, you have two external hard drives, and one of those hard drives you have all your sounds that you use in reason on and for some reason you unplug it and plug it in another hard drive or whatever the case may be or plug something else in to your USB ports what may happen is that the letter of that hard drive will change and when you load up your reason sound it's going to be searching for those sounds based on that letter and if that letter has changed, you, your songs won't load up, just like what happened with uh, this song right here. So what you do is you go to my computer, go to manage, go to disk management. Let's open this up. And here's your, this is how you change your, your hard drive letters. C drive, you never wanted to change that. That's where all your operating systems and everything is stored at. So you don't want to change that. You'll really screw it up. But any external stuff, uh, if you if the letter changes, this is how you can change it. So what you do is you right click on there and you go to change drive letter and paths. See, this is G. And what's been happening lately with me is because my wife's just uh my wife's daughter just picked up her a ipad and i have the itunes account on my computer so she wants to plug it into my usb port and get the download so songs and stuff and also charge it up but if she doesn't turn on my external hard drive before she plugs in um that ipod the letter will change so I had to go back in here and change these letters back. So you just go to change letter and you can change the letter to whatever you want. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it here, but that's how you do it. You go ahead and do it. All right, family. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and kind of give you some more insight and some more control on how you are managing your songs and your folders and stuff like that, you know? So until we meet again, uh, please uh, subscribe, rate, you know, leave comments. And if there's something in here that you didn't quite understand, let me know and I will get back on it for you. Okay. Until we meet again, peace and Merry Christmas to everybody out there.